The year is 2012, the release year of great games such as Mass Effect 3, Far Cry 3, and Borderlands 2. And as some of us thought the world was going to end, Michael had a dream. Huh? Punk? You got something? You got the young lad tried out some YouTube, and what a better way than to play the well-known and by then 8-year-old game Half-Life 2. Michael loved the game. So much, in fact, that after episode 15, he kinda gave up on filming it. The year is now 2020. The corona crisis is in full swing, virtual reality catches on quick, and the release of Cyberpunk 2077 wowed the entire gaming world. With disappointment. Despite the decades having passed, man, I feel old. The Half-Life series is still considered one of the best first-person shooters of all time, and with the recent growth of virtual reality, it was only natural for Valve to revive the series completely in VR with Half-Life Alex. I loved it. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> How did you get out? But not everyone loved the idea of it. Many without VR headsets didn't really like to see their favorite franchise continued in a way that they could not reach without buying expensive hardware. There have been attempts at making mods to transfer the game to desktop playability, but in the end, we could not deny the game was designed in and around VR itself. Going two years forward, it is now 2022, and the modding community have done what they do best. Taking the VR to desktop problem, they took their modding skills and put them to the test by doing the exact opposite. They converted our fan-favorite desktop fiction into a fully functional virtual reality feast. They created Half-Life 2 in VR. Oh, this is, oh my god, oh my god, I actually, that jump scared me. This is your only chance to kiss him. Oh my god, boop, 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 boop. Took my husband for questioning. Did they? They said he'd be on the next train. Oh my god. I got a standard relocation coupon just like every. This was what I've always wanted. And even though the game is by now 18 years old, experiencing it in VR is a childhood dream on another level. My childhood amazingness, and I want to play this. There. Okay. You sure? You're very you sure. About that. Oh my god, okay, you're sure. <laughs> the feeling of actually being chased by Combine while smacking stuff left and right with your crowbar is unlike any other time that I played through the eyes of Gordon Freeman. Though Barney is still a poop. About that beer I owed you. Of course, not everything is sunshine and rainbows. And just like the problems you have when you turn a VR game into a desktop experience, you will have similar issues the other way around. Oh, this doesn't work in VR. Cutscenes will always have been made for a desktop layout, giving you no control over the situation. <laughs> Looking small, Freeman. The handling of objects can be a little bit finicky. Wait, wait. And the airboat actually made me sick in VR for the first time in a long time. Oh, really? oh my god, this is nauseating. Oh god. Yeah, this is quite something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much yeah, one weakness. But that is alright. Not only does this game specifically fuel my nostalgia boner, it also shows that the VR community is amazing and advances just as rapidly as the technology around us. Half-Life 2 VR is just the start of an entire library of all the beloved desktop games ported straight to VR for a new and interesting way to experience something we thought we already knew so well. For instance, the currently in development Universal VR Injector for Unreal Games is a perfect example of getting hundreds of titles ported straight to VR. And this is not the only thing being worked on. The flat screen to VR modding community is full of devoted and talented modders making the unreal real. A perfect example of how the modding community puts heart and soul into our favorite titles to give them the extra edge on immersion and puts them in a whole new light. Half-Life 2 in VR scratched an itch I never knew I had. It opened up a whole world for me to experience and a future of more and more desktop games given a second life through a third dimension. 
There will always be inherent differences between the two platforms as they are built for different purposes, but that won't hold anyone back from trying to find the best way to run almost anything in VR. This is just the start, and we have so much to look forward to. Hey guys, Editing Michael here. Um, I just wanted to say that this video was a lot different than what I'm used to or what I would normally make. I had a blast, and I was wondering what you guys thought of this. But let me know comments down below. Bye.